Hello, fashion enthusiasts. Welcome to another video about one hit wonder Victoria's Secret models. This time, I want to go back to their inaugural show, which was in August of 1995. Gail Elliott had the privilege of being part of the beginning of this pop culture phenomenon. And even though she did not return to the show, she witnessed other historic fashion moments. We were doing a Versace show, and it was when the five supers were walking down the catwalk to the George Michael Freedom track. Um, and we were all backstage, and we were screaming and dancing around and jumping because it was such a great moment. And um, Gianni and Donna were backstage hugging each other and crying. It was pretty intense. It was really amazing. Gail was probably a favorite of Escada, given the numerous campaigns she has been featured in for the brand. She also posed for multiple Versace campaigns, as well as for Oscar de la Renta, Valentino, and cosmetic brands like Revlon. Gail does not see modeling as a cutthroat industry. There's a competitive side to it, but then there are maybe 25, 30 girls who work all the time, and we can't really work more than we do. People, are, people are always ask me, is it bitchy, is it this, is it that, and it's not really. She was only featured in a couple of Vogue covers. However, she dominated the feminine lifestyle category, appearing in dozens of Marie Claire, Elle, and Cosmopolitans. Elena Barquilla was the first Spanish model out of the five to ever work with Victoria's Secret. And like many models, she was a tomboy growing up. I was considered as the ugliest, the ugliest of my, my class, let's say. I was always very uh, into sports and all of that. I never, I wasn't considered like a typical pretty young girl, you know. Elena was featured in one of my all-time favorite ad campaigns, which was for Prada, Spring 1992. She was also featured in various Escada campaigns, as well as Yves Saint Laurent, Claude Montana, and Bill Blass. She believes that one's character is what makes someone attractive. I think beauty is all comes from, from here, all comes from inside. Because you can be very perfect in the outside, but you don't really say anything, you know? It's like all my, the people I consider more beautiful are those that really have, have a very uh, a special personality, a very, very strong character. Her magazine covers reflect the fashion of her time. They are colorful and energetic. Finnish model Angelica Calio concludes this video. And even though she did not book the Victoria's Secret fashion show again after 1995, she was a regular in high fashion runways. It was speculated that she was a favorite of Karl Lagerfeld, given her notoriety in Chanel collections. She had an idea about what was Victoria's Secret. Can you keep a secret? Victoria's Secret. I think it's to look well and uh, take care of yourself, you know, because you are giving an example to the other woman how to look. And um, that's the secret. Angelica was featured in one of my favorite Dolce & Gabbana campaigns. She also landed campaigns for Christian Dior, Sergio Rossi, and Jenny. Angelica has an extroverted personality. like you know you let the bird out out of the cage <laughs> and he starts flying around and having fun her magazine covers are very eye-catching the majority of them can be described as high fashion the photos portray different concepts i think they look like beauty shots but there are also full body shots <laughs> 